There are many ways to get better at video games, but one method that seems to be getting more and more popular over the years is by hiring a coach. A coach that will watch your gameplay and give you direct feedback on how to improve. But this begs the question, is it the best way? I mean, surely to actually improve quickly, you need to sit down and spend an hour with a coach where they will nitpick your gameplay and give you the keys to ranking up. No, I don't think so. Don't get me wrong, it's effective as long as you get a good coach and take criticism well. But this costs money and you might end up hiring a coach who isn't all that good at explaining what you need to improve on. So with this in mind, I decided to look for the two available alternatives. Alternatives, their free coaching and guide videos on YouTube, and self-reviewing. First, the coaching videos on YouTube. I've honestly been a big fan of these kinds of videos for a few years now, and I've found that they really work to help find faults in your own playstyle. But this might take longer since the person who has been coached in the video might not be making the same mistakes as you, or might be using a completely different hero or agent than you are. Except with how many videos there are on YouTube, you are almost guaranteed to find someone in your rank who is using the same character as you do or who got coached. And another benefit of these videos on YouTube is that because they are edited for retention, you don't have to sit through an entire game to hear all the tips and tricks to get better. Everything you need to know is likely to be shared within 15 minutes of the video, meaning that you can either go and try the advice in your own game, or you can watch more coaching videos and attempt to learn more things you can implement. As an example of this, I looked up support coaching on YouTube and instantly saw this video, The Simple Way to Carry on Kyrgyz. I started watching it while in a queue for my worst scroll support. I would typically lose the majority of my support games. I might have won one game, but then I would lose three in a row, but just after about 15 minutes of watching this one hour video, I immediately went to win not one, two, or even three, but four games. Now I'm not going to say this single video will get me to master's rank, it probably wouldn't even get me to diamond on its own, but this is a step in the right direction. Another example I have, and this is from a while back, is when I was silver in Valorant. I watched a lot of coaching videos, and in particular Joel's coaching videos, and I found that I started to get better. The way that things were simply explained allowed me to make adjustments to improve my gameplay. And while I still lost a few matches here and there, I started winning the majority of my ranked games and went from silver to plat with almost no losses. But what if you don't want to hire a coach and you can't find a good video covering your agent? There are two things. You can either look for a different player of your rank, as there will be mistakes in general that you'll probably have in common, or you could self-review. Self-reviewing is harder because you have to figure out what could have been done better. The coach has the benefit of already knowing how the game should optimally be played, but he will have to figure it out. Not to mention that it might be harder for you to record gameplay if you have a lower end computer. Thankfully, some games like Overwatch have a replay feature that costs nothing to your hardware, but a game like Valorant doesn't, which they really should have implemented in the first year, but whatever, let's talk more about self-reviewing. One self-reviewing some key moments to watch are your death, when you get a kill, and when a game is lost. Compare this to the reverse moment. What is different when you die versus when you get away? How did you approach a fight in one where you got kills and one where you didn't? Why did you lose a game compared to the opposite? This will give you some understanding of how your playstyle, even against different types of enemies, will vary. This I believe is good to do, and with practice will allow you to incorporate it into your games. But I also believe that this is less effective than the other two methods and takes a lot longer. And if you feel stuck in ELO hell and would like some more advice on how to get better while playing the game, check out this video. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.